it. So under plan that you have under migration, you pick source analysis, get started. You can pick your file share or a SharePoint environment and mostly what is, well, mostly. Also, what is your intended destination? Now, once you have that, you basically just select your source. You can connect to any environment environments that you have access to, and then you basically run it. Now, you you probably know you can connect to your central administration so that you could see your entire farm or tenant. Don't run the source analysis on your entire file share or your entire tenant or farm because depending on what you have in your environment, it could be quite a lot and therefore resource intensive and then it's going to take a long time to run and then it's not going to really make your your planning easier because you're going to look into everything there is that you should maybe look out for so when you get to your selection like in this case this is a demo environment that almost has nothing in it right there's about 10 15 sites well maybe a little bit more than that but that's not a lot and most of them are empty because it's just built for demo purposes uh so the functionality does allow you to select everything but in cases where your environment is fairly large we don't recommend it now once it ran you're going to have this in your task screen and see i did the file share and the sharepoint source analysis earlier see how in this case i don't have a well, I could if I was connected to our VPN to get all of our network drives that are available, but I just picked my computer here and see how I looked around 327,000 files, 37 gigabytes. And if we look into it to see the details, well, you get the overview here. So that's how many files and folders we have. I have 37 gigs worth of data to possibly migrate and see how I got almost 3,000 errors and five warnings. Now, in this case, it's mostly missing permissions. I wasn't connected to VPN. I was not initially fully authenticated against this. And therefore, there's a lot of stuff that I probably didn't have access to because well, trials and testing, I probably imported a lot of <laughs> content that I don't necessarily usually have access to. Uh, to see what the, those errors are, you can click on these errors. It's actually gonna open the full report just like a migration report so you have this around here and you could see that okay well it's all missing permissions that i basically have throughout right that's pretty much it. if i go back to the summary i could go view details to get pretty much the same overview it was filtered on the errors before and now i have everything so again it's just to give you an idea of what it looks like and what you can expect uh, that might work or not work i guess is where it's most important see so missing permissions on some files or folders within the my source a few places where there would be more than 5,000 files inside a single folder this is going to give you a warning because uh it will break your list view threshold so that's really uh, mostly why you have this warning here. And then in this case, no issues were found on files that might be too large to fit into a SharePoint site, paths that might be too long, especially in a file share, if you have a lot of folder structure or just long names of your files, this could exceed the path length that SharePoint authorizes. Though it's fairly long nowadays in SharePoint Online, it's over 400 uh, characters. So don't necessarily always see a lot of uh, those and blocked file extensions if ever something was not supported within SharePoint or that it's actually blocked within the destination um, it would come up here so good idea to, to run this before you run a migration to have a better understanding of what it is you're going to be migrating when it comes to SharePoint you get similar information. In this case, we're going to tell you not just files, but how, okay, so there's, this was one site collection with six sites, no workflows in there, only three megabytes of data. You see it's a test environment with nothing in it. I still have one error, a couple warnings, well, more, four warnings. And here you would, if there were issues, have information about, okay, custom master pages that might be an issue, site templates that are not supported anymore, list templates, similarly, any features that might not make it a new site we just bring you the information that okay well these sites have not been modified in the last six months so maybe you should look into them to see like do we really need to import them do we really need to bring this to a new environment it's not been modified doesn't mean it hasn't been used but still something to look into and checked out files sharegate being a client-side application will not see files that are checked out 
unless they you are the one that checked them out and you're actually using that same account because then they're yours. But otherwise, we don't see them. And if you do have a lot, maybe a quick tip I can share is that under our all reports, you can actually run a checked out documents report, which will give you a list of anything that's currently checked out, or maybe that was never checked in, so it's, it's still in draft, and the ability to do a bulk check-in so that you're not missing them when you actually go about doing your migration. 